Breaking news first at five on that emergency landing at RDU International. The NTSB has released its report, which includes the emotional state of the co-pilot whose body was found in Fuquay Varina. The report says the co-pilot who jumped out of this plane was visibly upset just moments beforehand. WRL's Julian Grace went through that report as soon as it came out. He joins us now live with details on what else it shows. Julian. Well, Deborah, we are still going through details of that preliminary report from the NTSB, but it paints a clearer picture on what happened here on July 29th, just before that emergency landing. First, though, let's go back to video from that day as I go through the details of what we have received from that report. The report says during the mishap, Crooks became sick and opened a window. NTSB recorded the details from the pilot who landed the plane. The pilot is not named. However, the report goes on to say that Crooks got up from his seat, removed his headset, apologized, and departed the airplane via the ramp door. Crook's body was later found in a Fuquay Varina backyard hours after the plane landed at RDU. Now, we are still reaching out to Charles Crook's family. We want to find out a little bit more about the 23-year-old and also about their reaction to this report that has just been released. At this point, Deborah, we have not made contact. After we're done here, we're going to continue to make phone calls and reach out to Crook's family and friends. Julian Grace, live at RDU. Thank you, Julian.